the Indian Armed Forces on Tuesday acquired their first ever aerial surveillance system to look down from the sky during combat. The Spylight Mini Unmanned Aerial System, Mini AS, was manufactured and sold to the military by a Hyderabad based joint venture between Indian firm Sand Solutions and Systems, CSS, and the well reputed Israeli defense firm Bluebird Aero Systems. The urgent necessity of eyes in the sky is perhaps felt acutely in sensitive border zones like Doklam, and Kashmir, which often requires the forwarding infantries to look beyond the nearest hill, or tree line, or high rises. Until now, soldiers have had to rely on a helicopter, fighter reconnaissance missions or satellite photos, which costs critical time during combat. Taking off from very high altitude in extreme weather conditions. The spy light flew over the high mountainous landscape, performing all its missions successfully, detailed a CSS press release on Tuesday. The spy light mini as weighs 9.5 kilograms and can be launched via a rail launcher within minutes. It can look down from an altitude of 3,000 feet by virtue of its electric motor, besides relaying video feed and high-definition images via a camera with infrared sensors. The launching unit remotely controls the flying vehicle and the sensors. On completion of a mission lasting up to four hours, the spy light flies back to its point of origin and lands using a parachute. If communication and control links fail, the AS can activate its return home feature to guide it back home. The tender for 600 mini AVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, slightly larger than AS, for Rs 10 billion was floated by the Northern Command, which conducts counter-militant and counter-infiltration operations in Kashmir and along its border with Pakistan and China. Of the seven Indian firms have responded to the tender for 600 mini as that the Army floated last year, the Hyderabad-based firm delivered its first as this week. The CSS joint venture looks forward to co-developing customized payloads for military and civilian users in the future with a view to increasing indigenous defense manufacture by 40 to 50 percent. Neither the military nor CSS has divulged about the cost of spy light as purchased by the army. N.J. Joseph, who heads CSS, is only willing to reveal that this was a competitive procurement and that their system was the only as that met all the army's requirements and passed the demanding trials at altitudes above 5,000 meters. For now, the spy light remains an almost entirely Israeli system, which has served the Israeli army for a decade. Most defense forces around the world have portable, mini unmanned aerial vehicles, AVs, for years now. India had inducted the Israeli searcher and Heron AVs in the early 2000s, but they operate from an airfield and aren't optimal for frontline infantry troops. The Navy is currently exploring the purchase of large, long endurance sea guardian AVs from the U.S. The Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, is developing the indigenous Rustam UAV.